Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to try to remove this tig a green tiger lotus. I do this by sticking in my scissor and start trimming the roots under the ground. So I basically go around this plant here. Alright, so I'm going to remove this plant out and slowly take out this green tiger lotus. So, here you go. Alright, so I'm going to start trimming the the pearl weed or baby regular baby tears. So, I'm going to cut it just about right here. Alrighty, so um, I'm not done yet, but you can see the difference now. And well, I don't know if you can tell, but there's some yellow patches on the on the regular baby tears pearl weed. Um, since I didn't trim it uh, sooner, uh, um, the lower parts of the baby tears are dying off. So, but I'm just right now. I'm just taking out some leftovers here and just putting in the bucket. So right now, I'm gonna start trimming the dwarf baby tears with this scissors. It's a it's not really meant for uh, aquarium plants trimming, but I use it anyways. So basically this is what I'm gonna be doing for the next few minutes. Oh, All right, so right now I'm, I'm gonna plan to trim some of the, I believe it's called pink Telanthera cardinalis. So basically I'll be doing something like this. So. And I'll do this one by one. And here's the, the cuttings that I just cut. And I'll, I'll decide what to do with that later. Now, um, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna start trimming the uh, Blixa uh, Japonica. Now the idea is to trim on mostly the side here of the Blixa, even on, oops, sorry, uh, even on this side as well. So, I'll show you how it looks like after. So right now I'm going to be trimming the hygrophilia, the stem plant here. Now, what I'll be doing is using the scissors and start targeting the leaves that have some holes on them like this one for example or some over here so basically I'll just be trimming them off little by little like that alright so right now I'm gonna start trimming the hydro triche I believe it's called so this plant here that reaches to the top so I'm gonna start trimming the stems uh, I typically do this Alright, so the Pogostamon hair fairy is the plant that that is basically this whole plant here. Now, I think what I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to trim, try to trim mostly the lower leaves. The leaves that look a bit pale like this one. Well, I just realized that it's a lot easier to peel them off than to trim them. So that's what I'm going to be doing. It's a lot quicker. Alright, so now it's time for the Blixa Alberti. Now, sometimes I trim the the ends of the the lower leaves, the older leaves that is. So sometimes I would pinch around one Alberti, Flexa Alberti. Alrighty, so this is how it looks like after I pinched around one group of Flexa Alberti. So I'm gonna end up doing the same for this one and all the others that go around. Alrighty, so I already removed some of the old leaves around the Blixa Alberti. So here is the leftovers from what I have pulled. And it's quite a lot. So now I have to find a way how to, how to trim back some of this uh, Aromatica stem plant.
YouTube viewers, um, this is my trimming process for all my aquatic plants. And well, I here's the bucket full of all the leaves and all the scrap that I have to toss out. And well, um, thanks for watching, everyone, and until next time.